Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation. It illustrates how to use our exams for creating exams for TestVision. TestVision is a Dutch commercial online testing company which administers online exams for many universities in the Netherlands. Until now, the import of external material, such as that created using our exams, into TestVision was rather limited and therefore a new function was necessary. Here the new function exams to test vision is illustrated. The presentation consists of two parts. The first part illustrates the steps that are required in R to construct a test in test vision format. The second part illustrates the steps that are needed to import the test into the test vision system. A few things need to be said about the steps in R. I should start by saying that the current version of the package does not yet contain the new exams to test vision function. If you want to use this function now, you have to use the development function of the package, which is obtainable from RForge. The line of code in the third bullet allows you to download it. This slide contains the R syntax that will be used next in RStudio. Two things are worth mentioning. First, the first line of code, which is also shown in the previous slide, has only to be run once. After that, our exams is installed on your machine permanently. It should therefore be omitted in new R sessions. However, the second line, library exams, must be included in every new R session in which the package should be used. Second, the first item in the list of exercises is not part of the package and must therefore be saved in the working directory. Let's take a look at the R file we're going to use for creating an exam for test vision. Well, in the first step, we have to install the package exams from RForge. So it's being downloaded on your local computer. After downloading the package, it's loaded into uh, the current R session by using the library function. Next, we create an exam, which is a list of exercises. And it's maybe interesting to look at the first exercise because it has a feature which may be interesting. It contains a table, which is in this part of the ERMD file. And as a next step, let's inspect this exam in HTML to get an idea of what it may look like in test vision. So here we have this collection of items in an HTML browser. And finally, let's really create the exam for test vision using the new exam to test vision function. And we see that it's a, there's a collection of XML files, which is actually stored in a zip file, which contains the same files. So let's start discussing the steps in test vision. First, we have to log in into our institution's test vision site. And to import questions, you should click the Fragen or Questions button. Then go to Import. We see that in the upper left, there's an Import button. We should select it. Then a pop-up screen opens, which is called Fragen Importeren. And there we have to select a file. And we should select an option called Minder Stricte Import Controller, meaning a less strict import check and you could select this if your zip file has a structure which is not fully in line with the requirements of test vision for instance if you have a table in one of your questions then it's good to check this button so then we have to select the file on our computer which was called testvision.zip we select this file and then the content is being uploaded and I should warn you that this can take a while. It can actually last for about five to 10 minutes before your content is uploaded. So once the materials in the system, we see this message and we click okay. And we see that we now have five questions 
And it's also good to see that actually all exercise types are in this example. So for instance, we have numerical, single choice, M choice, string and close items. We could do a preview on this by selecting and clicking preview. And let's look at the first question. And we see here that we were actually able to upload a question with a table. And let's look at one of the other questions, which was a close question. We see here that this close question, which had six subparts, are actually successfully uploaded in the system. So we now imported this content into the system, but to, to definitely import the questions, they should be moved to a directory. That's what we'll do here. So we select this option, Geïmporteerde vragen verplaatsen, meaning that we should move the imported questions to another directory and we see that here in this directory called test map we have the content we saw previously in the preview so let's select all the questions and push the bewerken button which means edit button and we can look into these questions in more detail here we have the first question again and we see here that in the lower part of this screen, there's a subpart called alternativen, alternatives. And we see there that the correct answer is 176.5. And you can set the tolerance there. You can actually change that. But so we gave this tolerance to the item in our exams, and now it's there in the, in the question. So let's go to another question, the close question again. And we see here that there's a part of this question, plus or minus 0 0.3, that this is relatively large. That's because it, it has formula content and somehow test vision enlarges this content when it's imported into the system. I must say that this is a test vision issue, which will hopefully disappear in the future. But this is no real problem because we can actually edit this piece of text by selecting it and we can make it smaller. And here you can see that we successfully decreased the size of this formula part. Let's look at another part of the question, the feedback part, by selecting the feedback tab. And this is the content that the examinee may actually see once he or she is allowed to look at the uh, feedback after the exam. Another interesting part may be eigenschappen properties. And if we click this tab, then a pop-up screen appears in which some details about the question can be seen and can be edited as well. So here, for instance, we can see that for this question, one can obtain one point and that the sub-questions, because it's a closed question, can have partial credit. Let's go back to the test directory. And that's what we had to say about importing content from our exams into the test vision system.